that is the kind of moment, like as you follow um, a character through through a journey, through a trajectory, that I think um, keeping an eye out for uh, and 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 building the relationship of trust, so that person is willing to share that with you, uh, is key. So that's where the vulnerable comes from. In that, I already shared the story part, right? Which is the other one, which is the sort of story versus argument. Um, and what does that mean, right? It's um, you know we. There is actually bringing some psychology research uh, to the mix here. Um, there has actually been um, a lot of neuroscience, sort of cutting edge neuroscience done at MIT. And I was talking to one of the, the researchers doing some of that work there, Emil Bruno, uh, looking at um, how much our brain responds to story more than to facts and research and evidence. How much evidence and facts uh, can be thrown at you, and your brain will like basically will enter like you know the expression into through one ear come out through the other right it just like runs through you, whereas when you have a story, it is really hard for it to simply if it is a good story a well told powerful where you can empathize, it is very hard for that story not to actually somehow impact your narrative of 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 a particular issue area. So stories, which is something that naturally we do, right, since we you know, sit around the campfire and tell each other stories, uh, there is a reason for that being such a big part of our culture. Um, it is because the way, apparently, they are discovering, the way we organize information in our brain is through narratives and not through facts. We actually create stories in order to make sense of what, what we believe in 